and welcome to another video. So I haven't uploaded in what seems like forever because it has been forever. Um, but I've actually been doing something interesting this morning. Um, I'm on the way to Japan <laughs> with my brother after counting down for so long. Um, the day has finally arrived and we haven't been since the pandemic so it's going to be a really interesting Barnaby. trip. The next stop will be Scunthorpe. Thanks train. Yeah, we're just on the train to um, from Grimsby to Manchester now. Then we have to change for Manchester Airport. And yeah, so this is just a little intro. Daniel's over here, messing about. I'm sending my girlfriend pictures. So yeah, I thought I'd just do a little intro because obviously I haven't vlogged in so long and I will kind of want to uh, do more travel videos and stuff and also it's good for me to look back on so yeah. Um, Apologise for how I look at the minute. I'm going on a long haul so I know I'm not going to wear makeup but you know. Um, yeah so I'll catch you next time at Manchester Airport where I can actually have some food because I am starved. So yeah, see you in a bit. This is a service to Liverpool. Hey guys, now we are in Manchester Royal Airport. I can't even speak, we just took ages getting through security. We're now at Arches, which I don't know of this place, but apparently it has good burgers. So yeah, and here's Dan. Hello. Just, he's just done his vlog, and here we have burgers. We're both on lattes at the minute. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna see if these burgers are any good. And we are starving. We haven't even eaten today, to be fair, so we don't feel guilty right now, do we, Dan? It's like fine. So yeah, I will catch up with you probably on the plane or I don't know. I'll just catch up to you when I can. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're doing now. So we'll eat, refresh, and then we'll carry on our journey, won't we, Dan? Indeed. Indeed, we will. Indeed. So yeah, I'll catch you in a bit when I've eaten. I'll just open one. Yeah. Oh, you can't even see it. I'm good, aren't I? Looks good. Hey guys, just another check-in. We have finished our 12 and a half hour flight from Manchester to Hong Kong. We are currently at Hong Kong airport now and I don't think I slept at all on the plane. So I am absolutely knackered. Um, got coffees and I've actually got water for the station which is good so I filled up the water. And now me and Daniel are just sat here watching loads of planes and waiting for our next one which is over an hour so we just have a walk around and then just sit here for a bit and then drink and yeah and the flight is about four hours i'm hoping it's a bit less so yeah nearly there but not quite so yeah it's just another check-in i'll turn the camera around and then you can see where i am and what i'm seeing but that's about it i can't update you any more than that because i've got brain fog and i think i've been up for basically 24 hours now so yeah as you can tell by my eyeballs, but it's like fine, and it's also really hot, it's really humid. So, yeah, I'll catch you. Well, I'll show you, I'll show you around first. Oh, dragonfly, and then I will check in with you once I'm at Japan. I don't know whether it will be at the um, Airbnb or whatnot because obviously I've got to go through immigration and all that malarkey, so that's not going to be fun. So, I probably won't vlog there, if I'm being honest. So, yeah. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. 
Bye. Um, welcome to, not a new vlog, but the last part of the vlog I suppose. Um, yes, um, made it to Japan. I think I've been up now for about 35 hours, which I think is an all time, but like, I can't even think, can't even speak, see. It's an all time record for me basically. Um, we have got back to the Airbnb, um, well we got to the Airbnb, which is a house. Um, I'm going to give you a, um, tour tomorrow simply because I am absolutely knackered and I have a bit of a story time to tell you um, I made a vlog going to see it now and um, so obviously I'm traveling with my brother and my brother's friend Con obviously he's my friend too um, and we was getting he, he's come he came from New York and that is um, at Kansai Airport Osaka Airport and he um, we was getting on our second train to the Airbnb and he realized that he'd actually um, lost his jacket it was a really lightweight jacket and I can't remember seeing it my brother can't, couldn't remember seeing it but unfortunately this jacket had his passport in so yeah my brother obviously we got here they went to the train station master and um, luckily he said that they found something at the train line connecting at the airport um, and he said it, he didn't say what it was but it, it, it was to, like matching the description and they said it's very uh, valuable so um, they dropped the boys dropped me off here and then I just told them to go well obviously that was the plan so they went back to Kansai airport all the way back there and yeah he, he has he has managed to get his passport thank god but yeah they're on the way back now and um, so yeah it's currently half past nine we was gonna go out for a drink tonight but we're absolutely on the verge of passing out so I think literally i've unpacked and obviously i'll give you a, a tour tomorrow and um, also when the lads have unpacked lads boys have a bit of everything aren't they um but yeah i don't know if we're going to go out and get food i'm not really sure but in my priority right now is just getting some shut eye because i'm absolutely exhausted so yeah that's that's what i'm just going to tell you so obviously we made it to japan and everything like that so yeah i'm going to end this uh, vlog now um, I will add at the end of this vlog I will add um, just a tour around the place and then I will start obviously tomorrow's vlog if I'm doing one I'm not I'll see how I feel I'm not gonna have a vlog for every day but everything interesting that we do will have a Japanese vlog and hauls followed by that like Don Quixote Daiso and everything like that what I've got to check out so yeah um, I don't know if I'm gonna put it in I can't kind of any order or anything I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do yet but I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun excuse how I look I've literally had a shower and stuff so um so yeah I'm not really sure what kind of like vlog pathway I am taking um but we'll see how it goes and I'm just gonna have fun um, because I haven't uploaded uh, for about a year because I don't know, I just, I didn't feel like it, it just wasn't a bit of me, but now I'm ready um, to do more travel vlogs because that's what I actually enjoy and I want to gain confidence up with it. So, that's about it for them, for, for them, for now, I've got to go because I've got pains all in my head, I've actually had a nosebleed because of the pressure, I need to just go sleep don't I really. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next vlog guys, thank you for watching this and I hope you enjoy the Japan vlog, so yeah. And yeah, also you will get a tour. I'm not just gonna lie, and you will get a tour tomorrow. So yeah, bye. So I said I was gonna do a uh, tour tomorrow, but the boys aren't still back, and I'm bored, I'm trying to keep myself awake. So I'll just add it on. So yeah, this is it. And I'll just turn the camera around. So obviously, as you walk in, you have a big genkan. 
and obviously shoes and that. And then this is like kind of layout. So you have like a sofa, you have Japanese TV. Yes, I've got it on for background noise. Then you have like a little kitchen. You know, it's got the essentials, nothing major, but you know, helps. You've got the washing facilities here. And obviously you've got like a table. I, do I need to explain? You can kind of see it. Um, microwave and kettle, which is obviously essential. That, no idea. There's me in my pajamas. Cute. Yeah, so I, I'm guessing she had a baby. I don't know. Then you've got the bathroom, which is downstairs. Which, why in the, is it in the living room? Don't know. Then obviously you have uh, the Japanese toilet with the bum washer, which is a fabulous. And then this bedroom, which is going to be mine because it's big enough. Well, the biggest one. Um, I've put the boys upstairs. Yes, I've told them and they don't mind. Um, it's two beds. I've had to lay my clothes out because there's no closet, but I'm not going to use that bed anyway. I'm going to have that one against the wall because I have to sleep against the wall. So I've just laid everything there. And then I'm, I, um, this one's big because I can try and push the beds out so I can do some exercise. Yeah, I'm weird. I've got to do cardio. Um, yeah, makeup table. Also, I wanted it because it's got the biggest dresser and I've obviously got you know, makeup and also this, although I've left the boys some because I'm kind. And that's basically downstairs. So then you go upstairs. As I wish, see, I've just put the lads' cases up here because obviously they're not here yet. Um, but I was trying to be kind. So if you could get password. So you have three doors here. So here's like another room. Oh, there's a light. So it's two single beds. I don't know if Dan's going to push them together. I'm not really sure. I presume this is his room. I don't really care. I don't think he... I mean, I don't think he cares. He's going to have a lovely view. He's got the best view of the room, actually. So, yeah. Not going to lie. Might actually come out here. He's doing the makeup. He says we have a balcony, but I'm pretty sure we don't. Because I don't really get that. Um, then here, you have another toilet which is also good to have one downstairs and one up which is nice and then the last bedroom which is the pink bedroom and I was going to have this one but it's just uh, not big enough for me um, so Con's going to have it I think I don't know how they're going to do it they can even share if they want I'm not bothered plenty of, <laughs> plenty of beds for them um, but he has got two suitcases so I'm thinking whereabouts is he going to put them so I'm going to have to probably figure something out Oh, so we do have a balcony. This is not a bit there. But you can't actually go out on it, can you? You know? Why did the part of want to try it? Purple. So, yeah, th that's the other room. So, turn it around. That's um, basically the Airbnb. We paid, I think it was, we're staying for 24 days. Um, and we paid about 1,400 and something. I paid in three on Airbnb, which was nice. Oh my god, look at the lighting, but I don't care, it's fine. I, I'm just doing my vlog. So, yeah, I hope you um, enjoyed um, seeing everything. And this is going to conclude my travelling day video. I think I've done everything that I was going to. Now, please let me chill. Not you, but I'm going to let myself chill because, yeah. I do like the rooms, though. I think they are quite big. But um, I'm just wondering, I'm going to have to help. Wait. Oh, Con could put his suitcase in there. If Dan's, I don't know, we'll figure something out. Anyway. I'm going to go, take care guys and enjoy the Japan vlogs, um, I really do hope you like them, I'm going to do my best this time, I mean because I think the other ones were the Japanese vlogs, they're going to be poor, these are going to be a brilliant, okay, so I'm going to go, leave you and love you.